wanna be no hitter, that's all they ain't talking about. I don't can't play, sir. And we give all praises to the most high God that Roe versus Wade was overturned, man. Because black and Hispanic and Native American babies are getting killed in the abortion clinics, man. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High. His name's Yahweh, who's the God of Israel and Israel only. We do that name on Sunday, man, in the name of Jesus Christ. Real name Yahweh Shai, who's the King and Savior of Israel and Israel only. With the Hebrew Israelites in the Sakari sects called back the Black Hispanics and Native Americans back to repentance. And we do this, man, because our people need to understand that this place is coming to an end real soon, right? And for the brothers and sisters that are in this walk, we, got, we also need to really understand that there's a big reward for this. Give me, um, give me Matthew 19, 27. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. So Peter told Hamashiach, he said, we have forsaken all and we, and, and to follow you, right? To Hamashiach Yahushua. And this is, how, this is how we must live in these last days, man. We are to forsake everything in this world to follow Hamashiach Yahushua. The man that came and died for you, man. The, the, the man that came and died for the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're not forsaken much anyways, man. What are you giving up in this world? Blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, we really got nothing in this world to forsake, man. Right. Right? So Peter's telling Christ right here, we have forsaken everything to follow you. So this is this is in the spirit that we should be in these last days. Read. What shall we have, therefore? And Jesus said unto them, Verily, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me Verily, truly That's what this means Verily, truly Read that again Verily, I say unto you That ye which have followed me You which have followed me This is Christ's words right here, read In the regeneration In the regeneration, read When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory they also shall sit upon twelve thrones. This is he's talking to the audience right here. He's talking about his twelve disciples, man. right? Those twelve men, right, are promised a certain, uh, a certain special seat. What's the lesson for us in here in this moment, right here? In these last days, we start to forsake everything in this world to follow Hamashiach Yahushai for a reward that we're going to get. Because this right here is talking about to the twelve. They're gonna follow him and they're gonna get this certain a certain reward. Read. Judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold. Now he's talking about the rest of his the rest of his followers. Now he's, read that again from the, from the top right there, that part. And everyone that has forsaken houses. Now everyone that has forsaken houses, right, your households. We're not just talking about your children, your wife, or whatever. We're talking about anything, right, of your belongings. And this physical things, right? Me? Or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands. For my name's sake, for Hamashiach's name's sake, the name's sake, Christ's name's sake, me, shall receive a hundredfold. You shall receive a hundredfold. So, how, what, what exactly does the Black Hispanic and Native American have in this kingdom, man? You're not forsaking nothing, really. You're not forsaking much, right? This is a big reward for us, man. 
at the end of the at the end of this tunnel, man. Right? When the Most High God sends His Son back again on this earth, right, to redeem those that He finds fit that day, and His children and their wives and their whole households, man. And guess what? Once that happens, all of your oppressors are going into chains, man. Thus says the Bible. Thus says the Most High God, man. Right? And all you white people, you got a big, you got a big price to pay, man. For what you have done to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans here in the Western, Western Hemisphere, man. Right. Who are God's chosen people? Who are the true Israelites of the Bible, man? Right. That's it. Is that twenty nine? That, that was in, that was twenty nine, right? Yeah. Read, read me the last one. And shall inherit everlasting life. And you shall inherit everlasting life. Everlasting life, right here, is everlasting rulership of the earth, man. Right? The, the Christian church has taught us this this lie about what is salvation is. What is everlasting life? That once you die, you go, your spirit folds up in the clouds or whatever, man. That's all a lie. The Bible speaks nothing of that, man. man. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven is going to be here on earth, man. Exactly how much, exactly how our God says it was supposed to be from the beginning. His chosen people ruling all over the uh, ruling the whole earth, right? With his king, uh, 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 with, uh, with the Davidic throne on the earth, ruling the earth, man. Right? That's it. Our people need to realize that that's a big reward. Read. It's Isaiah ten and twenty, and it shall come to pass in that day. That the remnant of Israel, and it shall come to pass in that day. He's just talking about the end times. What's going on? You got a question? You got a question about the sun? I'm happy to answer any of your questions. What's going on? Uh huh. Okay. First and foremost, we're just saying white people just because it's a colloquial term, right? For what we know or what, what, what it is today, right? We're not saying because he hates just uh, his color, his skin, or nothing. We're saying that the people, that so called white people today, descend from a certain people in the Bible who God hates. Right? Are you familiar with the Bible? Okay, so you're really not too familiar. Because, I mean, when you say you're a child, you're basically know what your parents told you or whatever you haven't really dug into this and read this right okay well this is this is eight okay cool you may not believe it right you may not believe it but for archaeologists archaeologists they they done found a lot of things that correlate with the bible right uh, how, how not so do you want to see archaeological evidence of uh, poop? give me the more bites Okay, cool. Why God hates white people? Because they descend from a certain ancient lineage in the Bible that God hates. Who are the Edomites of the Bible? Who are the Edomites of the Bible? Right? Who is the Israelites? Uh, uh, Israel had a brother named Esau, right? Which is, uh, which, is uh, uh, which was e uh, Jacob's evil twin, right? And then it manifests today. We can see this happening. We can put the we can put the Bible on the shelf today. We can see how white how white people hate blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, and they have proven that for the last four hundred years here in the Americas. Is that not true? Has the white has the white people enslaved blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans? Yes or no? Has the white people enslaved? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yeah. Exactly. So that's another reason why God hates white people. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's good. Answer. Question answer? Yeah. I, great. I, I, I yeah. Great. So you're on God's side about that. That's, that's great. I'm on God's side. Great, great. You might be an atheist, cool. Great. Prepare for change. That's right. Prepare for change when Christ comes back. Right. <laughs>
Yeah, she agreed with it. She was agreeing with it. Alright, so give me a Isaiah 10 and 20. Isaiah 10 and 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob in that day be that again from the top shall come. And it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. This is prophetic language. When it, when it speaks. Oh, it shall come to pass in that day. Let's talk about the end days. Man. Right? Read. That the remnant of Israel. It's talking about the remnant of Israel. It's always been about the remnant. Every single captivity is always about being a oh, oh, oh. You got a point. You got any question? Any question? Nayar. Bring them over here. If you got any question, I can ask you. I can answer you. I'll be happy to answer you. Happy to answer you. What's your question? I don't have a question. Great. Do you agree with do you agree with the sign? Great. Do you agree do you agree do you agree with the sign? Was it about the sign? No, no, no. He, he, he was he was saying that he identified as an African American uh -huh. knowing full so well that that was something given to us by the oppressor. A title. A title, right? And that's and that title's not that old to begin with. African Americans not that old to begin with. But like sixties? Oh 88, damn. I was seven years old. My father's like black or something like that. So yeah, I on my dad's birth certificate, it said he was a Negro. You see? So those, are, those are all titles. Yeah. Right? And the thing about it is that we believe the Bible. Right? In the Bible, in the. So Glenn, yes, since sir. we believe, since we believe the Bible, and God can show you that that was prophecy, that a certain people were going to be given Bibles and Proverbs for disobeying their God, right? These prophecies were written thousands and thousands of years ago, and this is the main word. Well, absolutely, there's nothing new under the sun, but we can't, there was like the scientific world or the, the academia will say that the reason why prophecies come to pass is because something will, will be said at one point or another it will automatically come to pass but this is not how prophecy works right let me show you exactly a prophecy what was that what was going to happen to the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans let me do the Deuteronomy 8 28 20, 15 first right, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 15 verse 15 but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Are you familiar with the story of Moses? Do you remember Moses? He freed the children of Israel out of Egypt, took them to Mount Sinai, right? Went up to talk to God, brought back these laws, and said, follow these laws. If you do follow these laws, I'll put you above all the nations of the earth, so on and so on. But if you don't follow these laws, read. To observe all his commandments and his statutes which i command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee so if you don't come out if you don't keep these law statutes commandments he says i'm gonna punish you with all these curses give me the minute uh, this is deuteronomy 28 and 68 it says and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again with ships the Lord was going to bring the children of Israel into Egypt again with ships. See, coming out of Egypt the very first time, they didn't eat ships, right? They walked out, right? They walked out and well, well, went through the uh, well, uh, God part of the sea. They walked through Sinai, Palestine, and all, and, all, and all that, right? So they didn't eat ships. So this is something very, very uh, peculiar right now. But we got uh, give me exactly what, what, what Egypt means, right? God, this is Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt represents bondage, right? In the Bible, it's through the children of Israel. So Egypt re represents bondage. Even going back to the Hebrew word, which is Mitzrayim or Mazarium 
in the ancient Hebrew, which means the place between, what was it, uh, rock and stone, between a, 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 a hard place, right? So, Egypt represents bondage, a hard place for the children of Israel. Now go back to the Bible, right? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord's going to bring you into bondage again with ships, right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Because God promised the children of Israel that you would never ever see the, the, physical, the, the physical land of Egypt again. He, he said for breaking God's laws, he's going to send the children of Israel into captivity. Uh, bondage again with ships, right? And it says, uh, And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. So what does that sound like? Exactly. Right, me? And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. Now people will say, well, this can't be talking about the, the transatlantic slave trade because he says that no one was going to buy you. But right here, there's an ancient uh, custom which is called uh, uh, rede uh, uh, redeeming, right? So right there it means that no one's going to redeem you out of that position, right? So, once, you, once you're coming out the ships, you're going to be sold for as a slave, a slave man or a slave woman, and no one's going to redeem you out of that situation. So, this is exactly prophecies that was written thousands and thousands of years ago concerning the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? Because people don't understand that the Natives weren't on slave ships too, right? When, when the Spaniards came over here, landed, uh, they landed in Puerto Rico first, they took sl slaves to, to, uh, to Spain or certain to other Spanish colonies. When they came to Mexico, they did exactly the same thing, Central America, right? Uh -huh. Well, you, know, you, you say they're oppressed and they're oppressor, right? We tried financial parts. We tried all that. But you know, it, 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 see, we're taught, we're taught that we're three different groups of people, but we, we all descend from the same people. Exactly, but the thing is that we've we tried that though. We tried, we tried our groups. We tried that with the Black Panthers. We tried that with the Brown Berets. Yeah. Exactly, because what's the do what's the, hey, what's what's his dollar troubles? It's over. Hey, if you're a descendant of the ancient Israelites, the people in the land of Israel today are 
our, 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 our imposters and your God chosen people, man. Your God's child. Right? Isaiah 10 and 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel. What's going on? You got a question about the sign? Do you agree with the sign? Uh, did you put this wrong about the sign? Or, huh? Europe. Oh, you're Europe. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Europe. Europe is a Native American thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you. I thought you said that your dad's Europe. Your mom's Europe. My mom's Europe. She's blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah. Yeah. So look, listen, do you believe in the Bible? I mean, you got a cross on the so I suppose you believe in the Bible. I believe in the Creator, yeah. Yeah, I mean, of course. I'll, 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 our Native American brothers and sisters believe in the Creator. Okay. It be a great spirit, creator, whatever, right? But do you believe in the Bible? I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you're taught that the white man brought this to us. Or this is not a white man's book, first and foremost. I can prove that what happened to the Native Americans was prophesied in the Bible. I'll give me a couple moments I can show you. Do you know I'm 28? Alright, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is talking about a certain group of people who is God's chosen people, right? Have you ever heard of the story of, of, of Moses? He, was, he freed his people from, from the slavery, took them to a special mountain. He went to talk to the creator and came back with these certain laws for, his, for, the, children, for the children of God. He says, follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. I will place you above all nations on the earth. I will put this out. If you follow these laws, I'll put you above all these nations on the earth. If you don't follow these laws, statutes, and commandments, I'm going to punish you with these punishments. Give me uh, verse 15, uh, 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. But if you're breaking these laws, statutes, and commandments, it doesn't matter if you're in the inner city or out in the country or out in the rents. You're gonna be you're gonna be in this certain situation under these punishments of God. It doesn't matter where you're at. If you're breaking these these, these, these sacred laws and concepts that the Creator gave us, you're gonna be you're going, you're going through certain punishments. Now give me verse 28, 29. And the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. He's going to smite you with blindness and, and madness. He's talking about craziness, right? Due to oppression, due to all the uh, 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 trauma of, of centuries that the white man has did to the black man. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt grope at noondays, as the blind gropeth in darkness. So if you look at uh, if you look at the statistics, who needs a, a, a mental health issue? It's the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans due to our trauma, right? It's proven scientifically also that trauma is passed down through generations, and we've taught that, all, it, it, especially in, especially in, in our indigenous cultures. We're not just under poverty because we're talking about a situation. Poverty is just talking about a situation that replaced it. Exactly. Because see, because that because the. the to uh, teach trauma from our ancestors have gone to, which is passed down to us, and us continue with trauma due to the situation and uh, 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 situation or the system 
that was created by the white man, which is our oppression, right? And we're still going through these things, right? Give me 31. Verse 31, thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes. Thy ox shall be slain before thine eyes, right? And thou shalt not eat thereof. Uh -huh. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue thee. What does that say? This is talking about cattle being killed in front of our eyes. Let me show you something. Come on, baby. Are you familiar with this picture right here? That's a white man standing on the mountain of buffalo skulls. They did that as an act of warfare. But, but it, it absolutely, it's not even there. But read that again. This is prophesied thousands of years ago. Right? Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and you're not going to eat of it. They did that as an act of warfare to starve out our warriors, to make us rely upon their, uh, their, 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 what's it called, their rations, right? You ever heard about the rations that they give, that they give to our ancestors? Because this is exactly what happened to our indigenous brothers and sisters, man. They killed our buffaloes. They did that to our Inca brothers in Peru. They killed their alpacas, which is their llamas. Them out, to make them reliant about to make them reliant on the uh, on the rations that uh, that the Spaniards or the British was giving them, right? And what they did, and what they did to our North, uh, our, our North Indigenous brothers and sisters up here in the North, they were just giving them uh, 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 rations of uh, 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 wheat, of flour, and this is where you get fried bread from, right? Uh, yeah. Bad, bad. Absolutely, and whiskey. That was part of the rations, right? right? They killed or they killed, they killed the buffalo to starve out our warriors and make them make us reliant upon their uh, upon, uh, upon the little small rations that they were giving us. Is that it? Thy mm -hmm. sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people, read. Really? And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. This says that it was prophesied that our sons and our daughters was going to be ripped from our, from our grits. Hey, didn't you uh, hear about the MMIW? Absolutely, and I, and I, and I hate that it's happening. And, 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 I, yeah, absolutely. And guess what? This government don't give a goddamn hell about it. What does this sound like though? This is, no, this is proof. You know what's proof of this? All those remains of those babies that are found by Catholic monasteries or boarding schools. This exact, this was prophesied thousands of years ago. They said, you gotta get God. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So when they used to march on reservations and snatch our children and put them in boarding schools to symbolize them, right? Cut their hair off and everything, just symbolize it. Put them in a suit and tie or whatever. There was an old saying that they had kill the Indians, save the men. This is prophesied thousands of years ago. How long are you guys doing? I gotta head back. Absolutely. I'm sitting at the uh, friendship house. Okay, cool. So, oh, absolutely. So, you, hey, you are a child of God. You are, you are the tribe of God. It's very important to come back to the Columbus laws, right? Because this place is about to be destroyed. And, 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 and if you look on YouTube, there's plenty of those videos uh, proving how Native Americans are the, are, are the children of Israel. All right, sister. So